Well, good morning, Calvary. Thanks for joining us here today for your word for the day. My name is Robert, one of the pastors here. I've got a question for you, and that is, have you ever stopped to think about the blessings that you have in your life? Maybe you think about your spouse or your children or grandchildren and the blessing that they are to you. Maybe you think about your job or an area of volunteerism and think about the blessing that is to you. Maybe you think about your finances or possessions and how God has blessed you in that area. Or maybe it's health or experiences or impact. Whatever it is, I know this. We're often more blessed than we realize. Sure, you may have some real struggle in those areas. Maybe you long for blessings in some of those areas that I listed. Whatever the case is, I know that we as people are prone to overlooking blessings in our life and focusing on the areas that we have need. Another reality that I know to be true is that we often don't see the value of blessings in certain areas. I bring this up because in Proverbs chapter 8, the writer is talking about wisdom in a general sense. Now, all of Proverbs is classified as wisdom literature because by nature it's talking about wisdom and how to be wise with how we live. But here in chapter 8, it's talking specifically about the pursuit and benefit of wisdom as a whole. Basically, if you pursue wisdom in your life, what will happen? And in verse 18 of chapter 8, we read this. It says, I have riches and honor as well as enduring wealth and justice. My gifts are better than gold, even the purest gold. My wage is better than sterling silver. I walk in righteousness and paths of justice. Those who love me inherit wealth. I will fill their treasuries. Now you would think just reading those verses alone that the writer is talking about financial or monetary blessings and riches. Maybe someone who had inherited a lot of wealth or was a part of a wealthy family. But in reality, he's talking about the blessings of wisdom. See, he says here that wisdom is what brings riches and honor and justice. Wisdom is what brings gifts better than gold or silver. Wisdom is what makes people walk in righteousness and justice. I share this because I've seldom heard people share their blessings and list wisdom as one of those blessings, yet scripture here shares the immense blessing that wisdom can be. So today, are you pursuing wisdom? See, the Bible says that wisdom comes from God and His Word, and those who ask for wisdom from God will receive it. And just the verse prior to this, in verse 17, it says that those who search for wisdom will surely find it. But see, the key is to search for wisdom not in this world, but in God and His Word and direction for our life. There's plenty of sources of wisdom around us, And the key is to identify the wisdom that God has for our life and to lean into embracing that and in walking in that. And when we do that, we will surely be blessed. So today, my hope for you, Calvary, is that you would pursue God and his wisdom for your life, that you would embrace it, that you would walk in it, and that you would choose to embrace and embody the wisdom of God so that he can bless and direct your life. Have a great and wise day, Calvary. We'll see you next time.